Britney Spears is having a beautiful experience with a plate of delicious hot fudge and honestly, we've all been there. Britney Spears is in love with chocolate and honestly, who can blame her? The stronger singer posted a hilarious video on Friday to her Instagram enjoying a plate of warmed up fudge and claiming the tasty treat was one of the most beautiful experiences she's had in a while. This is the most beautiful experience I've ever experienced in my life, Brittany stated as she swirled around the chocolate fudge. This is fudge, and it's heated up fudge. It's hot. She went on to almost be in tears over the delicious dessert, ending her video by saying, Thank you Jesus for food. The sweet treat video offered her fans a bit of a lighter feeling since she posted some heavier content to her Instagram on February 10, claiming that her estranged family sent her to a treatment facility some years back while she was living under her controversial conservatorship. Britney accused her loved ones of holding me against my will by placing her in the facility for four months, which she said amplified my depression by 100. I believe in help but not arrogantly unasked for help, the only thing honestly disturbing about me is depression, but you don't take people out of their homes for that," Brittany said in the lengthy statement. Related Gallery Britney Spears in bikinis, see photos of the pop star rocking sexy swimsuits. The Me Against the Music songstress continued, the people who worked for me stood at the door saying I couldn't go anywhere. I honestly thought they were trying to kill me. Cause it seemed to me like some sick joke when I would call and say I'd been working here for two weeks. And can I have the keys to my car and go home? Their response, you can come and go when we tell you we can. I need boundaries, I need to know you can't just me leave me here every day. Brittany went on to claim that, despite asking to leave, she was kept in the treatment facility for an extended period of time. I felt like it stunted my growth when I was there. I could only use my upper body because I had to sit in a chair 8 hours a day and gave like 8 gallons of blood every week. She said her family effing killed her by leaving her there, and admitted she was too nice during the years her conservatorship, which was controlled by her father, Jamie Spears, was ruling her life. I wanted to kick and scream all of it but my family sat back and acted as if I was not a big deal. She said. The most damage that was done to me is the sick psychology of my own family convincing me that I was okay with what they did, I deserve that. The Grammy winner said she would spit in their faces, meaning her family, if she could go back in time and change things. I would be the first to admit I'm pretty messed up by all of it and haven't even come close to sharing all of what they did, it's honestly shocking but in time I think things will unfold in a bright way," she said.